Hello guys, welcome back to the Cork City Career Mode. I am Patrick from Hit The Snake. Now, I was just setting up this episode to record and I'm after finding this, okay? In the national pool, out of nowhere, this guy has shown up, right? Um, I think he's a free agent. We're going to search for him now and we might possibly be get, getting him for free for Cork City. Another Morrissey. Look at this, like, free agent. How is he a free agent? This is the weird stuff that's going on, lads. This is what I'm telling you about. He showed up out of nowhere. And this is the reason why I'm holding on to the Ireland job, because things will that things like that will happen. Right. So we got to get this guy signed straight away. Okay. Please. Yes. Right, he's willing to join. Come on, a good contract now. 83 rated. 19 years old. Why is no club gone in for him? Recommended wage. Yeah, grand job. You're crucial. No problem at all, kid. Two year. No, can we get a four year out of you? Come on, give us four years. Three grand. Yeah, we don't want a release clause. Don't mind that. Um, right. I'm going to give him a straight 15. Um... 500 more than he expects I'm also going to I'm also going to give him a 100 grand signing bonus please accept what a wonderful day like we just got a really really good player for free out of nowhere you'll be coming home soon as well buddy don't you worry about that oh can I get him now oh the heartbreak right, as you can see the Vice City boys are injured today so we most certainly will be playing Chaplin and Bohan. Uh, if I see you boys need a break. You've been doing well. I think we're coming second in the league. Which is pretty good I must say. Okay. And we're also going to throw on Morrissey. For O'Connor. We're going to give O'Connor a rest. Because he was the star of the last episode. Oh look we already have McInef. Whoever suggested him. Uh, before. I was going to talk about him a minute ago. But we have him. I read your mind baby. Mr. Sandcastles. We're going to give, we're going to give a run. Um, we're going to put Woodburn on the bench. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to move Marcy back. We're going to make two, two strong centre midfielders there now. Two fighting Irish lads. Now, also, the issue with Bohan as well. Um, in the last two episodes, I've got a lot of comments to get rid of him and a lot of comments to keep him. And I, mean, I should keep him. That's what people have been saying. So I'm going to put a poll in this video now. Hopefully it's up in the top right um, if I know how to work my YouTube properly. Please vote yes or no to get rid of Bowen or keep Bowen. And this is the final time I'm going to ask. It's up to you. So whatever vote comes out winning in the end is going to be the decision. Because I don't want to make that. We are playing Norwich today, baby. Right, we are going to go on a red today. And we're going to leave the iconic yellow and green of Norwich shine. He's just chasing after him. 2,000 points for kicking his leg, in fairness. In the last episode as well, in the comments, Nan's face, who is McNamara, um, we all said his character in this game looks like Mr. Beast. He said he's okay with being called Mr. Beast, so that's his name from now on. It's better than Nan's face. So Mr. Beast is his new name. I here pronounce you, Mr. Beast. Lads, I hope Sandcastles doesn't leave Cork in real life. He's one of my favourite players. Like, It's been a while now since I got Bowen to play. Um, I simulated one or two games. I think he might have come on as a sub or something. But um, we need the win today, lads. We really need the win. I got Red Dead Redemption 2 as well uh, the other day. I've been playing a bit of that. It's so much fun. Um, the bounties and stuff get really annoying after a while when all like the sheriffs and the police come after you um, like your whole thing is like to be like a, a renegade who robs things and you get punished and it makes it harder for you there's a conflicting story with the game really that's what it feels like it wants you to be good and bad but not bad and good if that makes sense when I was young um, about 11 and again, when I was about uh, 15 or 16, I played for... What a goal! <laughs> Bohin, what a goal. I used to play for a team called Rockmount, who were based out in Whitechurch. Um, they were actually Roy Keane's old 
team before he went and joined Cove Ramblers. Uh, so I used to play for them for a while and they used to have the yellow and green as well. And one year when I was playing there, Roy Keane actually bought brand new kits for the club. So I remember like other teams showing up um, and they used to have these really kind of like nylon-y, shiny, really 80s, early 90s looking football jerseys. And I remember the ones that Roy Keane got us, they literally looked like uh, Premier League quality. Like They were incredible. They were so detailed. The stitching on the badge, the sponsor, the colours. They looked so good. If I can find it, if I can find a picture of it online, I will post it now so you can see it. It was a nice looking kit. But uh, I don't know if I was able to find that or not now, to be honest. Speaking of Roy Keane, actually... Um, as you all know, because I play FIFA, I play a bit of Ultimate Team. And recently, I was able to get the 86-rated Roy Keane Legend card. Um, I've wanted this card for ages, and I've just been kind of saving up packs and buying. And I got lucky. I got two big players, um, and I sold them. Um, and I put all the coins into getting the Roy Keane and playing a few matches and uh, just getting other transfers and stuff like that but i wanted to ask would you guys be interested in a video where i did a review of the keen card like just a re review video of his stats how he feels like in a game what i feel would be the best way to play him and get the best out of him comment below if you'd like that if you'd watch that video and another video idea i've had is i want to do a hundred euro fifa points experiment where i'm gonna buy 100 euro worth of FIFA points. I'm going to buy as many packs as I can. And with that, then, I'm going to tally up all the all the players we get. And we're going to see if it has been worth the 100 euro. Did I make the money back in FIFA coins? Did I get good players out of it? I don't think we're going to, to be truly honest. But I want to do the experiment. And I think it would be a fun enough video to do. Because we'll just see what happens. So, out of those two videos, which like, would you watch both of them? Would you prefer one over the other? Let me know down below, please. And I think that was the end of this first half. It was. We are doing well. Even though it's only 1-0. We're winning, baby. That's all, that's all that counts. Big pass. That was a bad pass. That's not what I told you to pass it to. Oh, he slid onto the goalie's legs. That looked mental. I thought I'd actually get a free kick for that. Or give, him a, or give away a free kick for that. Here we are. Mr. Beast. Tearing up the pitch. Look at him. 8 million subscribers. That doesn't bother him. All he wants is one goal. All right, we want to get a good goal now. Come on, Despacito. And straight away, it's given away. I didn't mean to rap. I didn't mean to rhyme. I'm kind of doing it again. I am Eminem. The new boy. This is the real Morrissey. We will let, we will let Garrod have his real name back now. This is Stephen Patrick Morrissey. And this all, do you know what? This is mental, because this all comes together so perfectly, right? Morrissey has a song about Roy Keane called Roy's Keane, and it's really, really cool. So that is going to be the song for the Hit The Snake Hits this week on our Spotify playlist. Please follow our Spotify playlist. We have one. Please check it out. And this song will be on that list. Oh, Bowen. Bowen, shoot. He's just so good, like. What a player. Lads, it's crazy to get rid of him. We got him for free. And we're after getting this new Morrissey as well. Roy's keen, oh, Roy's keen. These uh, regen players were finding... Uh, are absolutely mental. Like, I think we've three of them now already. Um, Despacito came from the last series in FIFA 18. He was a special scout we unlocked. Um, the product of a scout that we unlocked. He was too cool and good to get rid of him or just forget about him. We had to bring him into the series as well. And that's the end of the match. That was a good win. That was a pretty good win now. Um, we're right, we've got a new signing, a new win. This is going well. Royce Kino, Royce King, Royce Kino, Royce King. Okay, so our next game is Queen's Park Rangers. Um, we should be able to take these guys no butter. Let's fix the team. What's wrong? Oh, Morrissey's injured. 
What a fine league. Already 84. Gone up a point already. What a player. Uh, Woodburn, you are on, my friend. Ben Ford, you need to come on. Um, we're going to take off McNamara. Yeah, you can play right back as well. Um, sorry, I mean Mr. Beast, formerly known as Nance Face. The amount of names I have to remember, lads. We are going to throw O'Leary on the bench as well for Campbell. I want to save that. So let's take on Queen's Park Rangers and absolutely kick their arse is. Arse is not a curse. Arse is grand. So is ass in other words. Let's go to the football match now. Here we are. The Queen's Park Rangers demolition day, baby. Walking out behind the referees because they're scared. Looking for protection. The best defense. We're the best defensive team as well, lads. We're coming first, and we are the best defensive team in the league. To be fair, like, we are Premier League ready already. It flew. Now, I know I went through the leagues fast, but you have to admit, it's much more fun now being here at the peak of top of the championship, uh, looking to get into the Premier League with some cool players, like. Oh. Go on, bonfire man. Oh, didn't mean to give that away. Get on to it. Don't let in a goal. We can't let them score. Yes, we got it. Okay. Right, let's build up an attack now. now normally, every time I say that, we always mess it up. And today will be no different. Oh, the run. Shoot. Oh. He edged forward in the centre like. McAllister. He's the Keen of this modern team for us. Today is all about Roy Keen. I do you know what? I'm just going to put his picture in the thumbnail. I'm just going to put that in form, Roy Keen, in the thumbnail. I'll also put Morrissey in the thumbnail. That's what I'll do. That was nice. Come on now. Sandcastles. Finish it. Oh. Sandcastles again. Yes! Mr. Sandcastles, you hero. It's been a while now since he got the moment to shine, but that was it. Good, nice finish. Good, 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 nice finish. Oh, that was nice. Side-footed in. Please don't leave us, Mr. Sandcastles. We love you. Oh, the football is lovely. Up over him. Bowen. Oh, the crossbar challenge. It was not happening today, like... A bit there and oh, nice. Come on, again. Cross it in, Bowen. What a goal. Who is that? Is that Desposito? Who is that? Hello, show me your name. What are you? Who are you? What are you? <gasps> That's the bonfire, man. That's why I didn't recognise him. Usually he's on fire. Well done, bonfire, man. Your first goal for the club. And a volley and a half it was. Lighting the gaff on fire. Not an ounce of remorse. Wallop. Good night and God bless. Desmosito, this is you. Shine for the people. Oh, I thought it was absolutely top bin destined. Like. Oh, and he broke that guy's leg. Get the ball. Come on. Oh, good save. Right, one more quick attack before... They blow the whistle. I was about to say before they ring the bell, but I was thinking of WWE. What a save, Mr. Big Show. Well, you just saved me. End of the first half. That was not bad. 2 0. What am I saying, not bad? That was good. That was really good. 2 0. Right, come on now. This is us. Ah, Bowen, he's so good. 
Oh my god, like the keeper was on his line and even with the chip he struggled. There's a very Irish tinge of that Queen's Park Rangers kit. Bohan. Oh my god, he's just so good. I really, really, really hope when I make next week's episode that you've all agreed to let Bohan stay. He's so good. And like if we didn't have him if we didn't have him now with the Vice City boys both injured, which is mental, we could be losing. He's such a good player to have. Like Despacito has such a good ability in scoring, but he his chances like they're always tough. They're never easy, like he always gets shafted. I feel like he's the Pogba of this team. Always in the media complaining about him. I'm actually surprised that no one's made Twitter accounts of uh, some of the Cork players, some of the regions, and now try to tweet us. I'm actually surprised. I've seen it done for other YouTubers, and it's hilarious. There's a guy called Dr. Benji, who I watch a good bit, uh, with Football Manager, and he has fans doing uh, characters, and it's very, very funny. It's kind of hard to actually distinguish what team is who. This might sound crazy, you know, like, but it might be if he's, it might be the same for you watching the video. But uh, while I'm playing it, it's actually quite difficult to tell the difference between the two jerseys. Despacito, the half to score. Yes, the finish. That was a very Manchester City kind of goal there. Now I must say. Speaking of which, I may started making this episode after the second Man City goal went in because I was very, very annoyed. So I said, goodbye, I'll just make an episode instead. I don't want to watch Man United lose again. Watch now what will happen is I'll be after saying all that, editing it into the video, and when I check the end, when I check the end of the match after finishing making this video, Man United will have won 3-2 or something like that. I can't see it happening, but uh, if it did happen, it would be lovely. Well done, but... It's not that I don't support the team, it's just that I am not in the frame of mind to watch Man United lose right now. Oh, we won the match. Well, I guess I'll check the score in the match. Man City won 3-1, for God's sake. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. I really appreciate it. We'll just do a lovely Mr. Beast got another rating level up. I will see you in the next episode. I've been Patrick from Hit the Snake. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hit the Snake. Videos for no one, no one watches now. Hit the Snake. Looking at lovely things we have.